Jackson or the Jack will be here, and I'm doing my fourth LEGO Halo review, and this review will be of my LEGO Halo Warthog. So, if you guys um, are new to my channel, or you've just happened to stumble across this video, uh, I release new LEGO Halo reviews every single weekend, so that's Saturday or Sunday, whichever day I um, feel best <coughs> of uh, releasing a video up to YouTube on the day. So you guys can, you know, stay tuned for more videos every single Saturday or Sunday. Um, two more things, guys, is that I decided I'd up the ante a little bit, and instead of just having a ordinary turret, I put on a gorse cannon, and I must say it looks very impressive, very cool. Um, I personally think it looks really awesome. Um, you guys can tell me what you think. Uh, yeah, and last thing is that... Well, I've changed this colour scheme a little bit to my other UNSC vehicles. Um, so it's different to the Mongoose and some other uh, UNSC vehicles I'll be putting on soon. Um, I just decided I might as well do some green in one of them. So as much as it is not the sand green uh, colour scheme, like actually in the game, it's green anyway, so I just reckon it looks alright. So I guess now, guys, I'll stop blabbering and uh, get on with the review. So first thing I'll do is, once again, show you guys every single view. So that's bottom, front, side, back, and top. And uh, one more thing, guys, I need to tell you, is that it's actually over here in WA right now, it's a little bit overcast, so if there's shadows annoying you, because I had to put in a uh, tiny bit of uh, artificial light, I suppose, which is, you know, just light bulbs, and you know it's kind of annoying you just turn up your uh, brightness or turn it down a little bit um, you should eventually get the uh, color that you want so that was all the views um, first feature is like in the game this warthog has a uh, hook there which can actually be used as you know towing so it is connected by strings and can come out very far further than this so they've got actually quite a fair bit of string there. So it can come out quite far and um focus. Damn, I hate it when the camera wobbles when I try and focus. Um it can be uh put back into place, I suppose, by you know just rolling it up with that side bit. It takes a while but you can eventually do it. Um another thing, just focus is that it does have uh, lights there and there. And it's also got those two hooks that the uh, Warthog in the game does feature. And interesting fact, guys, in case you didn't know that, the reason the UNSC call this the Warthog is because of those two horns at the front right there, just in case you guys didn't know. So on the bottom, I've got a lot of Technic pieces, and I'll show you what these pieces are used for. So a lot of Technic pieces. Those Technic pieces are used for spring suspension, yay! <laughs> so every single wheel has its very own um, uh, lackey band, so it can move and maneuver quite impressively. It can pretty much move in every single angle you want, so it's very good in stop motion animations, and uh, just really good for going over rough terrain and things like that. So I'll show you guys how I did the spring suspension. Oh, wow, I'm surprised. Most of the time I do that, the entire thing falls apart on me. <laughs> so, it's in there. Every single lucky band um, is black, in case you guys can't see that. And there you go. That's how it works. So every single wheel has its very own lucky band, making it very good at manoeuvring and... Uh, going over rough terrain. Just pop this back on. If it will go on. Sorry if there's a lot of shadows, guys. And those pieces there are used for minifigures to be able to uh, hop in. So I'll show you guys, I suppose, the uh, driver's seat and passengers. Uh, this is all connected by this, so that just flips up. You can see in there, um, driver's wheel, uh, gear changes, things like that. I'll just pop that up a bit. And uh, some buttons and stuff. 
and passenger seat little headrests there and that just pops down nice and easy really cool um, I suppose I'll show you the gorse can now now this is the main thing about this warthog that makes it a uh, very impressive warthog um, it looks really cool I think I did a magnificent job on it very accurate I tried to I actually borrowed a book all about Halo. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds pretty nerdy, but you know, if you want to make something, you got to do it right. So, I pretty much went to a page that had uh, everything about Gorse Warthogs, and I copied this as best I could, and uh, it looks quite, quite similar actually. If you go look up, I don't know, Gorse Warthog on Google Images now, you find this is a very similar engine piece there. Uh, for sort of storing slugs that it shoots. 360 swivel and um, can move up and down. And that hinge there can move up and down, but I prefer to keep it like that. And once again, it's got the green color scheme, things like that. Two shields there. So that's Gorse Cannon. One last thing is that minifigure would stand there and put his feet just resting just there. Alright. Focus, please. Thank you. Um, I only recently added these two pieces here just because um, it didn't look really uh, accurate uh, without them, so I put them there. Not much else to say about this now, guys. Is that the rear view has uh, those bits on the back and uh, pole there. So that is the warthog, guys. I will now show you what it looks like with a ordinary turret on it, and you'll notice that, hang on, that this turret is quite a lot smaller than the Gorse Warthog, and that's in size and uh, thickness. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's what it looks like with an ordinary turret. So, I just thought I'd show you guys that before I um, do the uh, sort of minifig look. So I'll take off this again, and I'll put on the gorse cannon. Alright, so I'll put, put in these uh, minifigures. I really should, um, I don't know, skip past this bit, I suppose, or finish one video and make another one and put them together, because you guys might not like the amount of time that it takes for me to put on the minifigures, but whatever, um, that's how I'll do it from now on. So this is what it looks like with minifigures in it. It can fit more minifigs. Let's bring it up for a closer look. Is it focused? Oh, whatever, focus it again. Um, so that's the minifigures in there. Passenger would sit there shooting out, and uh, there would be the driver and a sort of operator of the gorse cannon. And you can fit more figures on there, standing there, standing there, and uh, a lot more figures. So all together, you can fit, oh, I don't know, I'd say around about seven, maybe eight, maybe nine, I don't know. You can fit quite a lot. So um, I guess that's the end of the review, guys. Please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Um, if you really want me to comment, and I might be able to do some building instructions for this, as well as some of my smaller vehicles, but from now on, the vehicles are getting too big to actually do building instructions, so I can't really do them. Um, next weekend, I'll upload my next video. And also, guys, links in the description to every single um, other review I've done and trick shots. If you haven't watched them, they took a lot of time, so go check them out. And also, if you haven't checked out my Facebook page, you can do that by uh, clicking the link in the description as well. And uh, I guess that's it. One more thing, guys. Thanks for viewing this. You've made my day. 
I'm I'm very appreciative of uh, you guys helping me out and making um, me want to do more videos. The only reason I'm doing it is so I can show you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.